In this video, you'll learn how to collect valuable information about new subscribers upon sign up with Beehive's built-in surveys builder. We'll also cover up how to automatically follow up with subscribers who don't complete a survey the first time around. Let's get straight into it. First, log into your Beehive account and go over to audience and surveys. And from here, you'll be able to create reusable surveys to collect data about your audience. To create a new one, click on create survey in the top right corner of your screen. And from here, you'll be able to build out every aspect of your survey, starting with the title and description. Keep in mind that both of these components will be visible to subscribers and will appear at the very top of your survey. For the title, I'll type in something engaging or encouraging. And for the description, you can politely ask for responses to your questions or the purpose of your survey. Now for the CTA text or the call to action text, you can type in the text you want on the submit button at the end of your form. And lastly, you can enter a thank you message that will appear to subscribers after they click on the submit button. Once you're done, make sure to click update survey. From here, you can head back to the form builder. Now here is where you can add the questions you want to include in your survey. This can look like asking for a first name to help personalize future emails, collecting birthdays so you can send out an email to subscribers on their birthday, or simply collecting information about topics subscribers might be interested in. Once you have your questions ready, click on add first question. Here you can add your question under title and then select a question type. For my first question, I'll be asking for the names of subscribers. So I'll type in first name or what is your first name? For question type, I'll select short response. And now I'll need to create a custom field or choose from an existing one. Basically, when a subscriber answers a question, their answer will be stored in a custom field, which you can view on their subscriber profile. You can use these custom fields that you collect in the future to do things such as personalized emails or create segments of users with specific custom fields. In this example, I'll create a first name custom field and select text as the data type because names are written in text format and not any of the other formats. And now that I'm done, I can click on create custom field. Once you've done this, you can now see the question populate on the survey builder. And now you even have the option to toggle on required, which will require subscribers to answer the specific question to complete the survey. To speed things up, I'll also be creating a question and custom field to collect birthdays and another question and custom field to collect interests. To do this, I'm gonna click on the plus icon and repeat the same process. But this time, when I create a custom field, I'll be selecting date so users can enter a date instead of a string of text. I'll also be adding a question asking for interests in which I would select multiple choice and then list because there'll be multiple potential answers from a predefined list of topics. Once I add this, I can toggle on allow multiple responses so the subscribers can choose multiple interests and then later add a list of topic interests. Now that I'm done, I can preview how the survey looks like by pressing on preview form in the top right. Once you think everything looks good, you can click on publish. Keep in mind that you won't be able to make any changes to your survey once it's published, so make sure that everything looks all right. Once you publish it, you can now enable the survey as your subscribe survey. This basically means after a new user subscribes to your newsletter, they'll be redirected to the survey to fill out. Simply click on the three dots next to your survey and then click on enable as subscribe survey. Now, when you test this out and sign up to your own newsletter, you'll see the survey appear. Now we'll be creating an automation that will automatically remind subscribers who didn't initially fill out the survey. To do this, go to right in automations and click on new automation in the top right corner of your screen. Now give your automation a name and description. Here I'll call it survey follow-up and give it a description to remind myself what the automation is for. Now hit save automation when you're done. From here, you need to add a trigger that will enroll subscribers into this automation. To do this, click on add trigger and then add trigger again. And from here, click on signed up. This will automatically enroll any new subscribers into this automation. Now make sure to activate this trigger and click on save. Now click on the plus icon and then click on time delay. By adding time delay, we can add a predetermined delay to the automation before the next step of the automation occurs. In this example, we'll give a new subscriber a day to fill out the new survey before anything happens. 
To add a time delay, click on the icon in the top right of time delay and change time delay to one day. Once again, click on activate and then save. Now we'll be adding the last step of the automation, which is a reminder email. To email a subscriber following the one day delay, click on the plus icon and then click on send email. Now click on the icon in the top right corner of send email and then click on add conditions. In this example, we only want to send emails to subscribers who haven't filled out the subscribe survey. So we have to add that as a condition. To do this, click on condition and then select survey from the first drop down menu. Now select on the subscribe survey you just made and select was not submitted from the last drop down menu. Once you're done, go back. Now you can click on create new email and create your follow up email. Here, add an engaging subject and preview line and fill out the content of your email. This can look like creating a button that links to your subscribe form with supporting content. To create a button, type the forward slash key on your keyboard and then select button from the editor menu. Now click on custom and paste in the URL of your subscriber survey. To find this, find your survey and then click on the three dots next to it and then click on copy URL. Now you can paste this link on your button and hit the check mark icon. Once again, click on activate and then save. Now your automation status should appear as running and new subscribers who don't fill out your subscriber survey within a day will be sent this specific follow-up email. That's it for this video. You can check out more tutorials on our YouTube channel.